Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. And today, just to share a quick tip, which is, in my opinion, this is simply the best operating system for the Raspberry Pi. As you can see on screen right now, what I've got right over here is a Plex server, a MB server, a own cloud server, and then two windows with configurations, which we will see in a few more videos how to uh, configure since the beginning until we have everything set up. But what I can say is that all these will take about half an hour to configure. And on this particular video, I will not show a step-by-step -step guide, but I would like to give a few tips right over here regarding the Diet Pi, which is the operating system that I'm using. And what we have to do is to follow the link down below to download Diet Pi. Once we have it on our computer, Mac OS or Windows, we will just need to use for example, Balena Etcher, which is an image writer, so that we can write the image to our microSD card, then insert the microSD card on the Raspberry Pi, and that's it, we are ready to go. Once it puts um, the machine, what we will have to do is to install whatever we want, because we have a lot of options, and the best is that it's very intuitive to install anything that we want. And we will see that in some other videos. We will see how to uh, set up a Plex server using DietPy, MB server, on cloud, and so on and so forth. So we will see a lot of situations. I will do a few step-by-step -step guides, but this is a great tool. Actually, this was a tip on my Portuguese channel from Mario Branco. A thumbs up, Mario, if you stop by. And honestly, I learn a lot more with my community than you guys learn with me. So my job here is just to share information and this tip is great. Now, if you ask me, hey Robert, is this the only operating system that you will need to have whatever you want on the Raspberry Pi? In my opinion, no. There will be something that we will require that we will not find here on Diet Pi. But at this moment, it has 120 apps slash operating systems that we can install in a very easy way and I was forgetting I also have Kodi right over here installed so I can have Kodi on the front end and then have two three four service servers sorry on the back end which is just awesome of course we are limited by the hardware so if we are working with a MB server Plex server on clouds and all of them are being pushed just be aware that we don't have a full-fledged well actually we have but the CPU is not the same as I've got on my desktop for example so it will bottleneck but for home usage a Plex server and a MB server and on cloud and then at the front the Kodi or any other player that we have available and that is it in my opinion this is simply the best operating system that I've used for the Raspberry Pi especially because it gives us a lot of options to install very easily a lot of services and other operating systems which is just 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 awesome if you find this video helpful a thumbs up if you are here for the first time and you want to follow up the coming up videos then subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss we will start by the basic and then we will follow along and do more complicated stuff but we will cover a lot using this great great tool and that is it my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one